this video I'm going to be I'm going to share a quick tip on flagging or prioritizing messages in Gmail now we all receive more messages than we can immediately act on and sometimes these are there are messages that you want to flag or make sure that you come back later and work on this is very important because um, it's crucial that you do not allow messages to be lost or buried or forgotten or ignored so I'm going to show you one of the things I use to make sure I can mark messages so that I can come back later on and follow up on them so if you log signed into Gmail now I'm using a generic email address this is not my personal email account it's a generic email message we use for social media so go to the settings which is in the top right and click on settings so on the settings and settings scroll down to the area called stars now by default on the in use as you will see there's only one star that is in use so I'm going to turn and not in use all these different colors are not in use so I'm going to say all stars so I'm turning I clicked on the all stars and right now in use I have all of these stars now one more thing you will notice is that the stars have different names this one is called yellow star this is called red star this is called green check this is called yellow bang so you need to choose as you look at these green star which star are you going to use and you can use different stars for different people or different priority okay and you need to just be able to remember their names so let's just say I decide that I'm going to use um, I'm going to use red star and red bang so red star and red bang are ones I'm going to use for priority okay I need to remember their names red star and red bang okay red dash star red and bang so scroll down and click on save changes so when you're back in your inbox find a message that you want to you want to come back and look at so let's just say there's a message here um for there's a twitter message here somebody tweeted okay so i want to mark this message as important so i'm going to go here and click on it once and it shows the yellow twice three times now i'm on red star and you can see it start with red star so this means i've marked this message with the red star so i can come back and find it later on let's find another one that will mark with red bang so let's just scroll down and say alright um, let's find another one so let's just say this message and you can start messages from here on the inbox or go back into the message and start them here so I'm looking at the message and I say wow this is important I want to come back and work on this message later on so I'm gonna mark this message with red bang so I come up to the star and I start clicking it's yellow it's starred click one more time orange star I'm gonna keep clicking red star purple star blue star green star red bang so this is red bang I got it to red bang by clicking three or four times now I added a lot of the stars but if I if I only wanted specific stars uh, which I'll go back and show I can only limit to two or three stars so you don't have to keep clicking several times so now that I have that and if I want to search for message with this star let's just add one more so I'm going to go back to the inbox choose another one at random let's just say this one so I'm going to start clicking red star purple star and it's on what is it on right now it's on red bang alright so if I want to search for those messages I need to go up to here and type in has colon red dash bng so if I hit the enter key with so I say something that has space red dash bang now it will immediately show me the messages that have red bang so that way I can easily find important messages and come back and use them 
or if I just click on start over here, it will show me every message that I've starred with the different colors that I've assigned to them. So I can go back to these messages, I can reply to them, and when I'm done, I will just hit the star button and uncheck so that they are no longer starred. So please use stars to mark your messages, the ones that are important, and you can give them different priorities. So even if you don't go to options and you just use start, it will show you all the messages that start and when you have them completed you can unstar them or basically mark them off and they will be removed from your list and I find this very useful because if I see a message maybe just before I'm going to bed and I can't work on it I go ahead and star it I mark it as priority so I can come back and use it finally let's see if we can figure out how to adjust and reduce the number of stars so I'm gonna go back down to the stars and let me see if I can drag and remove. So let's just say, you see, I can drag and remove that. So if I wanted red star to be the second one, and I wanted red bank to be the third one, and some of these ones, I don't really care for them. So I'm gonna move them off. So they're no longer on the list. So that means I will have less clicking to do. So I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna keep that, this, so, I remove them and right now I'm down to four stars. Four stars are in use and I pick the colors that I want. So I'm going to go down and save changes. So if I go back to my inbox and let's just say I want to I want to mark this one of these messages, this one. So if I start clicking, it'll only cycle through the four stars I selected. One, two, three, and four. So I mark this as the green star. And you can see when I put my mouse over it, it says green dash star. So if I wanted, if I'm back on my inbox and green star is the one I wanted to find, I would just type has green dash star. You will notice that there's no space in between. Has green dash star and it found that. And so that's my quick tip for today, how you can use um, searches uh, you can prioritize messages and also search for messages i hope you find this useful